perception plays such a major part in everything that we do in life and how we perceive things can sometimes be our reality. And in today's video, I'm going to go over how a perception of one of the most used training devices in your putting, meaning a string line such as this, if you don't have it done correctly, it could really hinder your game instead of helping it in the way that you think it will. So as I said in the intro, your perspective can really help or hinder your putting stroke, especially when you're practicing with a very popular training device such as a string line just like this. So we've got two vertical posts holding the string. It's straight putt from about six to eight feet. And as you can see uh, from the camera angle that that string bisects or splits that ball right in two. Um, so where you can get your perspective off and what the focus of this video is, it has to do with your gaze. And I got to give a shout out to my friend, Jeff Mangum. He's a multiple uh, time guest on the Golf 360 podcast, which I will link to down in the description below. Uh, but Jeff showed me and taught me about eye gaze and why it's so important in particular when I was practicing with a string line like this. And just really quickly, your eye gaze would be when your eyes look straight out of your eye socket. So for some of you who wear sunglasses, um, or spectacles. It would be the stem of your glasses from the corner of your ear right through the corner of your eye. For me, I don't have glasses, so you can see right there. That would be the plane of my eye gaze. So that needs to be perpendicular to your spine when you're putting. As it relates to, to this exercise, if your eyes are directly over top of the ball, that would mean your gaze would be straight down just like this. Corner of the ear right through the corner of my eye. I'm looking right at the center of the ball just like this. So what is important is that the gaze and the post holding the string are perpendicular, I'm sorry, are parallel or is extremely close to the same angle. Because right now, if my eyes are over, my gaze is straight down. When I take that putter back, I see that sweet spot moving straight back and through for about four to six inches right down that string line. Where some people get into some problems is when they have their, they move it, uh, further from the ball and or their gaze is at a different angle than the post holding the string. So for example, right now my gaze would be at an angle just like this. I'll put that in the ground like that. So you can obviously see that the orange stick and the two posts holding the string are nowhere near the same. So what you would have to do, you would modify this post as well as this one to more closely reflect the gaze of your eyes. And then when you get back over the ball, now, once again, as I'm looking at the ball, the white line here, the white string line, bisects the ball in two. And when I take my putter back, that sweet spot travels on that white line, both back and through. Okay, so using the, the string line can be a very effective tool if you use it in the correct fashion. Again, if you have your eyes directly over, you want vertical posts holding it. If you have a gaze slightly to the inside, you want the vertical posts of the string to match that as well. If you use this drill, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below, so please don't forget to post. And as always, thank you for watching another one of our videos. Hey everybody, thank you for watching another one of our videos. We hope you picked up something that's beneficial to your game. If you tried what we just gave you today, love to hear about it. Post it in the comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe. We'd love to have you as a follower. You can also hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter under The Golf Paradigm. And don't forget to follow the hottest podcast in golf, our podcast called Golf 360. If you'd like to subscribe or watch some more of our videos, you can do so right over here.